from Scrappy Mania and today I want to show you an exciting technique on using these foam shapes. Now if we have kids you tend to have these foam shapes just lying around in your house and I do we tend to like the shapes like I like this heart and I might like the circle but the colors might be a little off for my layout um, like that green and some of the geometric shape and see that baseball I, I'm not going to be doing a a sport layout anytime soon but I would like to have to use that shape now here's another another bucket that I have and it has flowers now this one has flowers and it the flowers has some designs that I'm not really too fond of and I would really like to use the flowers on a on my layout but I really don't like the design so I want to show you what I did I actually used some acrylic paint and I colored the flower and then I used some glitter paint as well the new glitter paint by folk art to color to make it sparkle now one thing I want to caution you is that you if you do have a flower that has a lot of pieces you want to remove the pieces before you paint it otherwise once it dry it, if you take those pieces off after it's dry then it's going to remove the paint so you want to really dismantle the flower before you even start painting but other than that they I think they came out pretty good and I do like the colors and you can even miss and match the colors for any layout um, by using this method now in another video I'm going to show you a layout that I created using my flowers but for this video I'm just going to show you what I did so I got some floating medium in the middle and I also put some gold um, paint on one of the wells there and what in my palette now I'm using this um, buttercup and it's by Making Memories and this I noticed this paints a little sheerer than if you use folk art paint so um, you might have to do two coats in order to get the color that you want to achieve so I'm using this I'm going to use a peach colors and then I'm going to be using a pink pink color and my palette's a little dirty with um, old paint that my kids usually use this palette so they haven't cleaned it very well but it's still okay and then I'm using this lavender so once I get all my paint that I think I'm gonna use now I'm gonna get ready to um, paint my flowers so you're gonna need a nice brush you can use a foam brush but I actually I prefer bristle a bristle brush and I, I, you're gonna need a foam plate because after you paint it I usually just put it on the foam plate and let it dry so I'm gonna pick a couple of flowers especially the ones that have some um, outlines or some markings on it so that way you can see how well it receives the color and then I'm gonna take some of my other um, shapes and I'm gonna make sure I remove all the pieces if it has the if it has pieces in the flower and one thing I want to um, caution you too if you do have a um, nail polish the paint really gets on your nail polish and doesn't come off so I don't recommend doing this technique after coming fresh after coming from the salon otherwise you're gonna have to have your manicure redone so I'm just picking different shapes and basically just picking the color the shapes that have colors that I really wouldn't use like this purple and then I'm just taking out all the pieces out of the flower so the only thing remaining is the flower itself so now I'm gonna um, pick some other geometric shapes I got um, some hearts that I'm going to be using I like that orange heart and I'm going to use a yellow heart and some green that lime green is not really a color I will use on a layout and a, and a yellow okay I'm just going to keep going and making sure I remove all the pieces from the flowers before I paint it So now I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm also going to take a little bit of water so you'll need some water 
and just wet your paintbrush and kind of remove the excess water with a with a um, paper towel. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the large one so you can see how well it covers, and I'm gonna pick some the lilac color. And um, in a moment you're gonna see that the coverage it really works very well. Especially if you put it on thick, it really will hide all the markings, all the all the design on that flower. Now you might need to do for this one. I did two co two coats just because um, the paint from making memory is sheerer than the paint from um, plaid. But um, other than that, it came out pretty pretty good. And then the other thing, once you paint the, the top, you need to make sure you paint the sides because you don't want the old color peeking through your layouts. So I just turn my flower over and I painted the sides the same color. And just keep rotating the flower until you get everything covered um, with your paint. So I'm going to continue on coloring my flowers and then I will be back with the um I'll be back with the flowers once I've colored everything and we'll be ready for the second step. Okay. Okay, so all my pieces are dry. And then the last thing that you need to do once you paint is see how a nice coverage that you have here. And look at this one. They're pretty, you know, the coverage is very nice. You're going to take, I bought this extreme glitter paint and it's very good. So let me get a tissue paper and let me show you what you need to do. So you're going to take some glitter paint. Let me put it right here. Oops, make a mess. Put it all over the place. So you take some of the glitter paint and you take your embellishment and just put some on top. Now you can use that glitter paint. I also used some of this to create. So with this glitter, this glitter um, glue. It makes it a little more chunkier like this one. See it here? It's just a little more chunkier. And then with the glitter paint that from from folk art, look at that one. That really looks very sparkly and it's I like it better with the um, acrylic paint, the extreme glitter. So you're just gonna take some and just put it on all your pieces like so. Take a little more and see if if you want more coverage of color you can go ahead and repaint it this only has one coat of paint of acrylic paint but if you like to have a little better coverage then you can go ahead and kind of make another give it another coat of your acrylic paint And then this one, this is the last one. I'm going to go ahead and put some more. And when it dries, it really dries very nice. Okay. So I'm done with this. So let me show you. So this is that big one that I sh we did. And see how nice and sparkly it is. And I could have done, I, I did it quickly for the video, but I could have done another coat underneath it and you really wouldn't see those lines. But, I mean, it looks good. This is the other one that I did. And actually this one was green. And look at the difference. This one was pink and actually this one I didn't finish it off. I should have put a little more glitter, but I didn't finish it off. And then look at this one. This one was that let me see what color this blue it was actually blue green and look at that color so and then look at the other ones that I did prior to this as I was preparing for the tutorial I did do some samples and look at that one that one was actually with acrylic paint not with the 
making memory paint that's a little more sheer. This was actually with folk art paint. Um, acrylic paint and it really covered because this one I think it was like a real weird color oh this one's like a red color I believe oh see it was this color it was like pink and look at the difference look at that one same as this one this one was kind of some weird color blue green and then look at that and then when you what to use this you basically just gonna peel the backing off and then glue it on your piece or you can either if you want to keep the backing you can put some adhesive but I would just peel off the back and glue it on my piece like that so these are the ones I made so let me show you uh, a layout that I'm planning to upload later on this week um, it won't be it won't be today but later on this week and this is a layout that I did using let's see if you can see it this is a layout that I did using those um, pieces that I made so and I'll have a tutorial with my other I'm using the flip and that's why you cannot really see it that well but see this is one of my embellishment pieces that I'm going to use with these and this is another embellishment piece and look how nice it layers so I'm going to layer that piece and then I'm going to layer this piece with the crown and some other stuff so come back to see me later on this week and I will show you I'm going to put this layout together using the embellishments that I just created and that's one thing I'm going to do I'm going to start just as I do as I discover the different type of embellishments that I do um, I'm gonna make a layout so that way you can see how to how to use them on a layout so thank you for watching bye